Hello, my name is Ali and I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. I'll be doing a quick OEAP setup on a Cisco wireless controller. Uh, basically, I'll be configuring a, a non-OEAP, which is a, a local mode AP, to a OEAP, which is Office Extend Access Point. I will also be priming it with WLC IP address so that once the employee connects the AP at its home, it will provide a secure communication like uh, seamlessly extending the corporate uh, WLAN over the internet at the employee's residence. We will log into our controller. Uh, this is a 3504 here. Uh, we'll go to the wireless settings. And we should have access points joined here. We have C9120s and BF2 access point. And I'll choose, I'm choosing here 1815 to convert it to OEAP. So it's right now in a local mode. We will select Flex Connect and we will after selecting flex connect we're going to apply that setting uh, once it's flex connect it won't reboot you go to flex connect uh, tab basically you click on the flex connect tab and there's an option under office extend ap to enable it so you enable that option then what we're going to do is we're going to go to high availability section we'll configure the name and the ip address of our public ip address of the controller which we're going to configure later on then we're going to apply and it will reboot so we have configured the oeap uh, now to configure the nat on our management ip address uh, this will be our uh, public ip address which we're going to configure on the management ip uh, we only support one to one natting and the ap's once they, the employee will take them home they will connect and try to join to the public uh, ip address which we which we're going to configure here also if administrator wants to make the internal ap join to this uh, wlc as well uh, then they need to configure this command from cli config network ap discovery net ip only disable so that the ap's from the internal network and ap's from the external network which is on public network can join this controller this is the uh, controller management interface we go to controller interfaces and management interface we can see we have interface address of internal network and then we will on that address we'll configure the public ip address we select that uh, at the public ip address of the controller and then we're going to apply uh, this will uh, reset the wlan so let me give you a warning if you click apply pop-up click OK. We are also doing an extra config here which is to create an AP group for OEAPs. It may be that admin uh, just want to broadcast the corporate SSID not the uh, guest SSID at the employee home so we can create an AP group for that. Once we create the AP group by adding and then also which society we want to broadcast over here for example our corporate society we are calling it typhoon so you add that and also the interface you can select any interface in our example here i'm selecting a sjc interface once it's selected you can then add ap's so the list of APs, you can select all the OEAPs and then add them. After this process, the AP will reboot. And once the AP is rebooted, it will come back and join this AP group. So if you see here, OK Access Point has joined. Now we can disconnect this access point and give it to our employee. You can take it home and Connect it to a router. Once the AP comes up, it will try to communicate the public IP address and try to join that public IP address. And once it joins, it will broadcast the corporate society. So it will have customer will have a seamless experience as you having in a corporate network. Thank you for watching.